Is it myth or truth that the APS-C camera is worse than a full-frame camera in low-light situations? So back in the day, full-frame sensors had the upper hand in low-light situations because they were bigger and captures more lights with their sensor. But things have changed. Check out the Sony A6700s and APS-C cameras and it handles high ISO pretty well, even in ISO 6400s. Now on to the A7IV, the exciting new full-frame cameras on the horizon. It's expected to be even better in low-light situations, but that doesn't mean that the APS-C is automatically a loser. So choosing between APS-C and full-frame in low-light photography or videography depends on a bunch of factors. So in full frames, you definitely have advantages in low lights because of a bigger sensor and absorb more lights. But on the other hand, crop sensor cameras do offer lower price point, more lens options, lighter, and all those advantages can make a big difference when it comes to budget and things that you want to shoot. 